Okay, guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Isaac Adeyemi. Today, I want to show you how to create an Upwork account and how to set up an Upwork profile. All you have to do is to stay tuned to this video, stick around this video, and watch till the very end so you don't miss any important information. So if you are new here, don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on notifications so that YouTube will update you anytime I drop a new video. So the first thing you want to do when you want to set up your Upwork profile is to go to your browser. When you want to create an Upwork account and set up your profile, the first thing you have to do is to go to your browser, either on your computer or on your smartphone, go to your browser and type upwork.com, okay? So that's exactly what I will be doing now and type upwork.com. So you go straight to their website where you will be able to sign up with your email address and verify your email address. So this is it. Then any place you are going to see the sign up button or navigate around it to check the sign up button. So I'll click on sign up. So there are two options there for you. Upwork will ask you, do you want to join as a client, iron freelancers, or you are a freelancer looking for job? You are a freelancer looking for work. Of course, you want to make money, then you are a freelancer looking for work. But remember, Upwork has their own terms and condition. So I would advise you to read the terms and condition before creating an Upwork account so that you will be on the safe side. Okay. So the fact that you are creating an account for freelancing does not mean you should have another account if you want to be a client. Upwork accepts you using one account to um, other freelancers and at the same time be a freelancer yourself. So let us click on apply as a freelancer. So here you have a few options, your first name, your last name, and the rest. So um, some persons be like, can I create an account for USA or foreign? No, 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 no. It doesn't matter. You see, having an account for, as having a foreign account doesn't guarantee you will make money. It doesn't guarantee you will get project on Upwork or any other freelancing platform. Although I don't know how you do your stuff, but these I'm teaching you right now based on what it's working for me. I've been freelancing for years and I've never opened a foreign account before. All is Nigerian account with my profile, okay? So here, you have a few details that we have to fill here, all right? So, and also the email address. So you make sure your email address is correct because you have to verify it. And also, then your password. Okay. So then the country you are. So like I said, if you are in Nigeria, choose Nigeria. If you are not in Nigeria, choose the country you are. Or the country you are currently in. So I'm in Nigeria. I chose Nigeria. Then click on create my account. So you notice we are using a Gmail address. Is we love to change your email addresses. Then no, create my account. All right. So Upwork is redirecting you to the next phase, where we have to confirm the email address. Okay. So this is it. So I will just go straight to my email here. As you can see, I already have an email from Upwork, an email that says verify your email address to complete registration. As you can see, so I'll click on verify email because that is the second step you have to do after um, signing up. All right. So it's as simple as this. So then it is time for you to start um, putting your profile, setting up your profile professionally now. So let us click on get started. So 
of work we ask you a few questions so please you have to answer all these questions because sometimes eh, you can create an opoc account and it will be rejected yes so when you are on this phase you have to ask, take your time to answer all these questions sincerely so so do i don't think think any of these questions really matter but you can say i've freelanced for years got it what's your biggest goal for freelancing so to make money on this site because gone are the days that i only freelance i have other things i'm doing now so how would you like to work okay so there are three stuff here i would like to find opportunities myself i would like to package up my work to client to buy i would like upwork to act as a recruiter okay so you can choose the three so this is you looking for opportunities yourself means you are sending proposals you packaging your work means you are creating gigs why upwork can also recommend you to um prospect that is going that is likely to hire you so next to create a profile all right so yeah if you have um a linkedin account you can upload your resume although it is not compulsory but it can it's let me just say it increase your higher chance of making money you know of standing out from the competitors because that's what you want to do to make sure your profile is top notch and stand out from many freelancers but it is not compulsory so maybe in my next video i'm going to show you guys how to create a resume so that you can um attach your resume here and it increase your chances but it is not necessary sure. all right Oh, I think Upwork is trying to. Okay, got it now. Add a title to the word. What you do? So yeah, this is where it comes now. You see, you are a freelancer. Setting up an Upwork account does not mean this is a get rich, get rich quick scheme. It doesn't mean you are creating an account to start making money. You see, the money you are going to make as a freelancer is directly proportional to your skills. So that's why. You are coming to this platform to showcase your skills, to showcase what you can do to, and people pay you for that skills to work for them. As you can see, examples, full stack developer, web, web and mobile design. So from my case, I'll just type email marketing. All right. In my case, I'll type email marketing and I'll click on next to hard experience. so nothing to add or something like that so if you have um relevant work experience so you can attach it here so everything bounces back to the resume which i'm going to create a video on um very soon so it is time you add your education all right you can add your oh i think can we go back and feel and feel the experience here yes you can feel yeah, the experience is feeling i thought it's something that you have to upload maybe your a file or so so you can fill in your experience here all right so as for me i have an agency that will be launched soon so i'll just say something like project manager that's something like project manager in which company then we have for our agency so then the location nigeria all right but this one is not compulsory if you don't have it it is not so you can choose the start date that you are working there uh, in the company i i don't want you to fake anything please the fact that if you don't have something to fill here you can skip it it's not compulsory yeah this is not the main point that you get with it only increases your chances a little all right so um i don't want you to say uh, start saying you work in so, so 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 company that they don't even know you they don't recognize you as you can see i'm not faking anything here Project manager, referral um, agency, referral digital agency. So, as you can see, like I said, this agency is, will be launched soon. We are we are building the website and doing some stuff to make sure it is launched. And I'm the project manager with my team. That's why I put it there. So if you don't have it, I when I start my freelancing business, I don't have anything like agency or I don't have all this stuff. And still, I was able to make money. So all right, so. And if you have this kind of experience, then you should feel it like me. So start date, start date, which you have that experience 
I'm going to choose June. June. Because that's the time I start to work in team. June. Don't think so. Okay. So yeah, you can fill in short details here. And the end date. I think we are in April. All right. So it's as simple as that. So I will click on now add your education. So at this at this education stage, you can fill in your area of distance. So your university, but it's not compulsory as well. So this is not a degree degree stuff or whatever. So if you are if if you are graduates, you can fill in your your details, your university, what you study, and the rest. But the reason I don't usually feel this is because I do feel it has to be something related to what I want to offer. So if it is not something related, then the certificate is useless. If you like study um, biochemistry, if you like study whatever, if it doesn't relate with what you want to offer, it is useless to me. So that's why I don't bother to fill this. So I'll just click on nothing to add and click on languages, all right? So at this language, you can do something like, um, I write and speak fluently in this language. Fluent, yeah, fluent. English is not your native language. So it is time for you to share your skills now. And this is where you start typing your skills that you do. So don't forget, everything you have to do, you are not jack of all trade there. So everything you are doing, you will be bounced back to the skills that you have. So if you are a graphic designer, other things that you attach will be under graphic design. Let's say book cover design, logo design, um, stuff like that, under design. So as an email marketer, I can say, Choose email marketing first. I can use email marketing first, then say email automation. Then say email campaign. Or I think email newsletter. Email newsletter. And I can even fill in some CRM or email software that I am very perfect using. MailChimp. If it is there and if it's not so new chimp avio ewiba and um omnisend yeah omnisend i don't think opera have this though if it's not so as simple as that then it is time for you to write your bio so I'm not be able to now you write a bio to tell the world about you. So at this point, you don't want to start writing you are this, you are that, you are that. That doesn't matter. So your bio, there are a few things that matters, and what matters is who are you. Ask yourself that question before you start typing something. Who are you? What can you do? Who are you? First thing, what can you do? Okay, that thing that you are doing, what is it solving? What problem is it solving? And how will it help the person within it? So I'm going to switch proof, um, my tab to one of my Upwork accounts here, as you can see. As you can see here. So you can see, who are you? It, that's the first thing that I define here. I am a direct response marketer. Soft. So... And I attach my experience as well. For my three years plus of experience, I see most brand pain point is how to get sales, how to increase sales. So what can I do is I help businesses create, increase their sales and boost conversion with email marketing setup and strategies. Simple. That means I help businesses, um, I, I, I deal with sales, increase sales, boost sales with marketing strategies, most especially with email marketing. That means I have solved, uh, the first thing is who am I? I am a direct response marketer. What can I do? I've stated I'm an email marketing expert, marketing strategies. And what problem, what I'm doing, what problem is it solving? It means my email marketing skill is solving the problem of sales. 
So when you two are creating your profile, that's what you want to ask yourself. You don't want to come here and start saying, uh, my, your name is um, your name is Jane. You graduated the university of this. You do this. You do all those. Nobody cares about that in this digital age. Nobody cares. What people want to know is what can you do? Who are you? What can you do? That thing that you are doing, what problem is he solving? How can you help them solve the same problem? And look at how I continue. I said, I have worked in the niche of e-commerce, coaching, real estate, and many more. Furthermore, I will work on your email marketing setup. You can see I'm trying to, you see, one, one of the mistakes that freelancers make is we always want to um, talk about ourselves a lot with forgetting the person reading the profile. I see it as maybe an ego for them to say, oh, this person is a legend. It's a lie, bro. What you want to do is the person reading the post, is he meeting them personally? So you're not just saying you are this, you are that. You can see, you can see what I state here. I have worked in the niche of this one is just to state my experience. Then I refer the conversation, the profile conversation back to the person reading it. I will help you. I will, I will work on your email marketing setup and boost more sales and revenue. So that's it. So then I talk about some of my achievements. I've taken an e-commerce sales rate from 0% to 25%. I've boost open rate, click rate, and conversion rate for, a, for a brand who almost give up. I've generated over $50,000 in sales within 30 deals for an e-commerce store. Then I list my other skills here. So this, this below is my portfolios, my portfolios and the rest of um, this, this, this is the screenshot of the e-commerce store, even though I make their name anonymous, that I generated over $51,000 for in 30 days last year, August. So it's as simple as that. So because of time, I am not be able to type anything here. I'm a, um, I might not be able to type anything here, but I think with just what I've said, you should be able to come up with anything. Either you're a copywriter, you're a graphic designer, um, you you are a graphic designer, or you are, are a web developer, web designer. That's how to write a profile. It's as simple as that. So your profile can be short, and it will have it will make sense, more meaningful than someone using it five thousand words. Just saying, yeah, I graduated in the university of this. I went, then after that, I'm dark in complexion. My parents love me. No, 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 no. You don't want to say that. So let me do um, a, a simple example. Okay. So let me let me give you a simple example here. I think if I don't feed this, it will not going to work. All right. So let me let me fill in a simple example for you. So I can say something like. Let's say direct response. Don't forget, that's it. So I can even say I don't want to use that. I can just say I am an email marketing expert. That's what I do. Then that's who I am. What who I, who I am. So then what I do, I set up email marketing for brands and businesses to help them to help them achieve to help them increase in sales and more revenue low and more revenue so that is what i do so and i've, I've stated the problem it is solving we're not that stuff so it's as simple as this go and try it out i'm, I'm not using this upper profile so there's no sense writing writing i've given you the short strategy so let us proceed and i don't want this video to be too long let us proceed to the area of work choose the area of work All right. 
So tell us what, tell us about the work you do. What is the main service you offer? You see, main service. They are not saying you should start saying you are a copywriter, you are a designer, you are this, you are at the same time a programmer. No, 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 no. That's not what we are saying. That's not what we are saying here. So, so you are, you are definitely going to see, you can see sales and marketing. So if you, if you are if you are an accounting consultant, just whatever related to your skills here, a designer can choose this, design and creative. Because you can't tell me you are a graphic designer while you are not creative. So a copywriter can choose this writing and the rest. So if you're marketing that deal with sales or whatever, uh, whatever marketing niche can choose sales and marketing, all right? So the subcategory, you can see it here. So then next to your profile rate. So, so many persons be like, uh, what should I charge per hour? <laughs> or more, <laughs> I do, sometimes I don't even know how to answer that question because let me just say, based on, based on your expertise level, you get, you don't want to charge $200, $200 per hour when your value is now up to $5 per day. So, hourly rates, but for me, I do tell my students to start to never go below $30 per hour. If you put $10, that doesn't mean you get budget. That's what you don't know. The fact that you are charging less doesn't mean you get budget. Now, look at yourself. Since you have been charging less, how much have you made? Since you have been charging $5 per hour, $10 per hour, how many clients have you get? So charging less or you it doesn't guarantee you make money. So just I do tell myself, don't go below $30. Don't go below $30 per hour. So, so this $30 is still on half rate of what um or what others are charging. Because sometimes when you're just starting out as a lobby. You don't want to charge a price that is way too high when you can't defend it. You can see my profile here now. I said I have generated over fifty thousand dollars in sales within thirty days for an e-commerce store, and I attach the proof. But you don't have that kind of proof yet. So when you are charging high, high prices, when you are charging high prices, not like the clients don't want to pay you, but they want to see the proof. They want to say, okay, is it true this person can deliver? Can this person deliver? All right. So, and if you can't, if you don't have the proof to back it up, testimonials and the rest, so you have to look at the range at which people are charging. So you to charge in that range. That's the second trick. When you have a proof to back whatever you are saying up, you can charge any amount you want. Yeah. But when you don't have a proof and testimonial, that doesn't mean you should charge low. You now look for the range at which freelancers are charging. So freelancers charge within... $25 to $50. So you can put your own at $30 to $40 per hour. So it is still fair as someone that is starting out, not you charging $5 per hour. I hope you get the scope. So it's as simple as this. And more, more interesting thing about Upwork is um, their service fee, as you keep increasing, as you keep making money, Upwork will reduce the service fee for you. On like Fiverr, whereby even if you turn to up with it, you make millions. Fiverr will keep charging twenty percent. But on Upwork, when you are starting out, they will be deducting twenty percent as their service fee. As time goes on, they will turn into ten percent, and later on, they turn into five percent. So that is one of the reasons why I personally love Upwork. So let us go to the last stage, which is which is to add your photo and your location. All right. All right. So let us go to the last stage. All right. So this is the last stage where you have to upload your picture. So um, it is very important you upload a professional picture. When I say picture, I don't just mean if you go and put where you are hitting or the rest. So you and hex, you call yourself an expert, then you should display as an expert. I think there's a code that says um, you will be addressed the way you are dressed. The code is not only you'll be addressed the way you dress, rather. 
So the coat is not only for physical stuff. It's apply online too. When I want to contact someone, the first thing I check is their picture, honestly, online. You can't tell me you are an expert when you are using sticker, emoji for your well, for your DP or whatever. So if you don't have a professional picture, I recommend you go and take one to use for your profile, okay? So not like a client to just tell you, you look like my, you know, don't let me say it. So it's as simple as that. And when I say professional picture, I do not mean you should go and buy a suit. Oh, no, 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 no. I know it's just something like an edge shot, an edge shot of what we we you, 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 that will show your face. Okay, I, I, as you can see here, something like mine here. You see, that's how I do my stuff. I just take only the edge shot, the head edge shot. Now my face, you won't see now my face. So, and let me show you some other kind of um pictures that I have here. All right, so. As you can see, some of my pictures here, okay, you can see, it is just the egg alone, only the egg, and that is what I want. So you make it so professional, you smile a little, and make sure your face is looking good. That is what you want to do in your profile picture, okay? This is not even what I want to show self, all right? But I just hope you see the, you, you see this picture, you see this picture and the rest. So it's as simple as that. Of this. So then, Upwork is asking me to upload profile. Anyways, I will find one picture and put there. Although some people do say you should use um, pictures on um, on Splash and Pixels, but I don't recommend it because. When you want to jump on sales call, the clients we we it, it might lose your integrity because the clients will be like, I see so, someone different on the DP, now someone different talking to me. So that's why I would not recommend that. So irrespective of your age, just go studio, go and take a nice picture as you see. So look at some of my picture here, man. <laughs> so it's as simple as this. So you don't have to kill yourself looking for this and that. So I'm going to save this. All right, so my country, Nigeria. So if you want to fill in the streets, they don't just say, I think they said streets won't show. So you can just fill in anything. Um, I just fill in anything. I think it's not compulsory. Then city, then city. Then Upwork will ask for your profile here. Yeah? So, it's not my first. Okay, let me just find one street put here. Um, So, Offwork says, looking good, Isaac. Make any edit, then submit your profile. So, submit the profile. If you follow this process, Offwork will approve your profile. That's how I do it, and it works for me. My students do the same thing. So, you can see they have given you the option to start browsing job. So, let me click on view my profile. And one thing about Upwork is they are going to show you how ignore the percent your profile is having. Okay, they'll show you the percent. So this is it. So you might still need to link other stuff to it. Maybe you want to link your account, email address. So the Upwork said I already have 60% complete, which is even still nice, more than average. So if you link other things they ask you to do, you will be able to um to have higher, higher, higher percent, higher profile percent. Okay, so you just set your security questions and all these things are what you are, you are you are to do. You should be able to do this yourself without anybody assistant. It's very easy. The main thing is what I've showed you. So I want to into something as well. Do you know you can create gigs 
on all pro apart from sending proposals if i search for email marketing now you will see some persons um you will see some persons um gig you see some persons gig just like fiverr where you'll be able to display your gigs so that would be like two chances of you making money you will send you'll be sending proposals and you will see you'll be able to uh, um, set up your gigs and people can see people are making money from gigs as well so maybe very soon i'll create a video on how you can create a gig on upwork and it's going to rank higher so you'll be able to have higher chances of making money sending proposals and the rest but for now you have the option of sending proposals you can click on find work and and you'll be able to send your proposals here as well as you can see many proposals related to my to my niche all right so you can go and add all this stuff it's as simple as that so i will leave you with this um few stuff i have a program the name of the program is i paid freelancing premium program if you are yet if you are not on this program definitely you are missing out this is a program that has worked for over 300 persons to make money online in fact it's amazing so they are using the same they are using the program to kickstart their upwork linkedin and the rest making money as a freelancer this program will show you everything you need to know about freelancing how to become a well-paid freelancer sending proposals creating um sending proposals getting clients on linkedin getting clients on facebook closing clients getting high paying clients to be precise not just clients high paying clients to be precise and inside the same program you learn um you learn digital skills like copywriting inside the single program so you learn digital skills like you are and you are designer as well so if you are yet you are if you are not on this program like i said definitely you are missing out because you want to 10x your sales make over ten thousand dollar a month this particular program is for you check the video description the link there i will attach the link there that you can use to order this um particular program to kick start your freelancing business so that you can get more results because you don't want to settle for peanuts you want to make more and more money all right guys so if you watch this video to the very end i want to say a big thank you to you don't forget to like this video and comment what you learn tell me what you learn it's very important all right so i wish you success